A familiar name is joining the race for San Diego City Attorney. Lawyer Brian Pease is best known for representing groups that want to protect harbor seals at the children's pool in La Jolla. He says he's uniquely qualified for the position because he's won legal cases against the city attorney's office, and he's here now to tell us more about his campaign. Brian, welcome. Thank okay, you. you say you're uniquely qualified. Uh, for voters who may not be familiar with you, tell us a little more about your credentials and why should you be elected city attorney? Sure, thanks. I'm a, I'm a public interest lawyer. Uh, I work to defend people's constitutional rights. I work to defend the environment. And the city attorney's office deals with these issues directly and on a larger scale. And I've often had to litigate uh, both civil and criminal matters uh, where the city attorney's office was on the opposing side. And I've won those cases where I've, I've defended uh, people's free speech rights. For instance, I had a case where uh, an individual was passing out flyers about the cruel uh, treatment of elephants at the Ringling Brothers Circus. And she was arrested and prosecuted for quintessential free speech. And I had to go through a whole trial and win that case and then get civil damages. We shouldn't have to do this. We shouldn't be treating our citizens this way. The city attorney's office should be defending people's rights. And I've seen things that they do well, and I've seen things that could use improvement. And since it does deal with both civil and criminal, I think the office could really use an attorney who has experience in both and who's represented the public interest and can effectively uh, channel the, the office's resources to, to defending the public interest rather than uh, corporate special interests that are often uh, getting special treatment, frankly, and they shouldn't be getting special treatment. It takes uh, big money and uh, a lot of backers to uh, win uh, any election virtually these days. Who are your primary supporters and where's your campaign money coming from? Uh, well, initially, so I just set up a crowd pack site about a week ago. The thing that really inspired me and kind of angered me to the point where I said I need to get involved in this race is when SeaWorld said they were going to sue the Coastal Commission. This is an entity that's being leasing public land, public park land from the city and was told by the Coastal Commission to, to follow uh, their regulations for how they can they can treat the uh, orcas in captivity there, and they're going to turn around and sue the Coastal Commission. Now the city is meanwhile we're allowing this to happen with our public parkland. I think we need somebody in the city's attorney's office um, that can fight for for the public interest and, and stand up to some of these big corporations. So my um, backers are going to be folks who want to see uh, things happen on a public interest level. So individual small donors. So I set up a crowd pack site, which is on my website, brianpease.com. People can go on there and click and, and contribute. And we're just getting the fundraising going now. But since it is um, a crowded Democratic field, there's likely going to be no early um, party endorsement on the Democratic side and likely going to be no um, labor endorsement. Um, there's a real opportunity for somebody uh, to break through who has uh, a proven track record and, and strong support within the community on working on these issues. Um, to be able, you know, with name recognition, to be able to uh, be, yeah. come in ahead of a right. even even with less money. Right. I, I'll definitely have less money than the other candidates. There's no question. But some, I think I can. Some of your opponents have brought up the issue of Prop 47, which resulted in the release of, uh, say, prison inmates. Um, the move increased actually the number of homeless people on the streets. How do you propose to deal with that? Also, it's clogged the courts. It's yeah. increased crime across the board. So that's something the city attorney should be actively involved in, right? Absolutely. And I think we need to stop criminalizing homelessness. We need to stop making it. We're keeping people on the streets by giving them tickets, making them pay fines. We should be working um, to house people and not criminalizing homelessness. Um, another proposition, Prop B, I was, it's been found to be illegal. I was always against that. I ran against that in 2012 when I ran for city council. Um, the convention center expansion, I've said that was illegal the way that they tried to do it. The city attorney said, go ahead with it. I said, no, this is illegal. You shouldn't do it this way. Expand the convention center, but do it legally. Um, and the city attorney made the, the wrong recommendation. And look where we are now. So there have been a number of things where, um, yeah, I think that just, you know, the voters um, can, can vote on something. We need to make sure that what they're voting on is legal. And you make, need to make sure it's being done legally and, and according to, to uh, the city charter and, and uh, state and so federal you, constitution. You want to take a different approach if elected then, huh? And on some issues, certainly. Yeah. Yeah, would... A lot of issues facing our city right now. Yeah. Uh, Brian Peace, uh, one of five candidates running for si city yeah. attorney, uh, Jan Goldsmith, is termed out yep. the incumbent. Thanks so right. much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks a lot.